Hi, welcome back to our journey. As we invest in our physical wholeness, you are watching Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl, Faith. For those who are joining for the first time here at Escape Forever Free, we invest in physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. We are on a journey. It has been a while since we have been together on our support team live and direct. And I do apologize for that long period of absence. It was so beyond control. I'm happy that we're back together. The last time we did leave off at our upper body and we were doing upper body variations now we are about to launch into our lower body variation and in this first set of routine we will be focusing on just the booty and the hips so we'll be investing in two weeks alternated of lower body booty and hips investment and this is our first two weeks so in the first week's video we will be doing our warm up together and thereafter the first warm up in the first um day of the first week thereafter you follow the warm up activity for each day of the rest of the four videos for that week so we do our warm up warm up together and you do the routine then you go ahead and double the routine on your own and then you cool down always remember we start with water and while we're exercising we always breathe deep breathe make sure you're breathing so let's just get straight into it you're going to grab your music i'm going to give it the moves right after we pray father we thank you for another occasion that we can continue to support each other in improving and restoring our physical mental spiritual and social wholeness bless all of our efforts and keep us committed consistent and faithful and persevering so if we should fall short of being committed that we will get back up and start the ball a rolling again give us good health and strength and motivation for us to continue and reap the benefits of these investments we pray in Jesus name amen so get your music I'm gonna get the moves for you and we're gonna get straight into it we're gonna start off with our warm-up activities before I even go into that so we're going to be doing our lower body focus and we're going to be focusing on the booty and the hips only for this first month so we're going to be doing moves like the donkey sway a form of sumo squat we're going to be doing the fire hydrant and we're going to be doing some clams so a lot of our workout will be on the floor and then some amounts of standing as well but the focus will be only the booty and the hips so let's get straight into it all right, so we want to start off with so our warm-up activities. Our, of course, we're going to get some water in before we even get into that. So let's go from the top to the, from the head. Kind of moving a little widely there just now. Widely. Let's get it together. Rotate. Keep your eyes open, please. Kind of had a bad positioning last night for my sleep so i'm having a little discomfort in my shoulders under my shoulder blade at the back right there so rotate rotate so i have to mitigate that to make sure i have no injury while i do these moves all right rotate and all this time you are breathing change good job good job I'm going to stretch out some of that discomfort that I'm feeling in my shoulder blade with this scissors cut. It's right there under my left shoulder blade at the back. Breathe. Change. Change. Breathe. Good job. Good job. All right. Let's go to the waist a little bit. So we're going to be doing a lot of lower body movements. And we're going to be doing this, of course, for one full month before we change to another lower body focus set of areas. Pull. Rotate that ankle while you're at it. Change direction. Stretch up. Change. Pull up. Go 
rotate that ankle while you're at it, rotate it, change, down, stretch up, good job, so we're going to do some other stretches for our warm up, we're going to go to the floor now, let's lower this for you, so you can see some of my mat, so we're going to the floor, you can see me, so good job, so here we go. We're going to be doing what I call a frog stretch. So we're going to be going low. Right? And while there, we're going to be pulling that leg up when the heels right below the other butt, basically. And then you remember our nice back stretch. We're going to raise like that for it while holding the legs right there. Let me change that view a little bit by coming into view some more for you as to what's happening with that bent leg. So here we go. Bend right under there. This is a good stretch for the booty work we're about to do. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's change over to the left, bend. Stretching up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's change. We're going to do one more set of that. And then we're going to do another stretch right down here in our warm up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These type of stretches will no doubt help to make your booty work more effective when you get into it. All right, so let's go again. Stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is called a half frog stretch. And now we're going to move next into a flat squat stretch. Stay straight on your front still, laying on the floor. You're going to pull up that leg. And pull it towards your butt. Hold one, two, three, four. Getting it? Good job. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's change. Next leg. Here we go. Pull it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now this is a good hamstring stretch as well as a good stretch for the glutes. Let's get it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This also prepares you for any form of squats that we might be engaging as we do our booty workouts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do our other stretch, which will be our white squat. This time we're getting up. So I'm going to have to stretch that out a little bit first. Let's do that. Two, three, four. This is the child pose. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get that out and come back to your child pose one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. All right, so we're getting up now for a wide squat as our last stretch before we do some jumping jacks at the end. So here we go. Here we go. So we're going to do a wide squat stretch. Simply pointing out. One, two, three. All this time you're breathing. Four. Don't mind pushing out that booty even from this time, even though we're just doing our stretches first. Get some booty work in in the meantime. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, let's shake that out. Shake that out. And then we're going to be doing now. Some jumping jacks to finish up our warm-up so we get our cardio um, involved in all of this warm-up activity. So let's get the 
part a piece of this workout as we don't do our jumping jack let's go one two three four five six seven change one two keep that core straight six seven change one two three four five six seven change one two three four five six seven change one two three four five six seven good job and that marks our warm-up and the end of it let's stretch it out a little bit up for you up good job let's go to the side and we're done warming up now all right back up go to the next side good job let's go in the front stretch it out change that lock stretch it out underneath all right so we're ready we're going to get some water in as we walk and stretch that out coming down the heart now we're going to start our routine So, as we allow our heart to beat to calm down a little bit and go back to the normal as much as possible, we are now going to get into our meat of the matter workout. So, let's start right here with our sumo squat. No weights will be used. Or, matter of fact, let's start on the floor with our donkey sway. So, I'm going to the floor. Let me change your view. All right, let's go to the floor actually. A bit closer for you all right so you can see me so I'm gonna be right here right here not going anywhere right here with you all right and I'm gonna need space behind me for this one and it's gonna be our donkey sway so I'm gonna be getting up right crouching like so and Gonna be a little bit further up. I'm gonna need lots of space behind me. Change that view. Alright. And here we're gonna go straighten our legs like so. So we want to change that view a little bit for you. Good. Alright. And we're gonna be moving from side to side, kind of like arcing with our legs, right? So left right kind of like thing and all this time you're in the crouching position your hands are underneath your shoulder as you crouch and your leg goes straight out and sways all right so let's go up a little bit and then come back right there all right so let's go again ready here we go make sure i'm crouching well and we begin one two so here you're engaging the glutes totally. It seems very simple, but here, even where you're not swinging that way in that leg, that other leg that is bent, the glutes is forced to bear most of the weight as it keeps form for the other leg to sway, while the swaying leg focus a lot on the outer glute area. So it is quite simple, but very effective. Six, seven, eight, nine ten eleven for grace all right we're done with that one stretch that out a little bit with a child pose and let's go to the next leg up ready one two three swing from side to side gently keeping your form five six make be sure to be breathing seven eight nine ten all right let's do some child pose stretch that out and let's go to the next leg one two three four five keep that leg as high six seven keep your form eight nine ten good job stretch that out Let's change. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch that out. So that's two. Change again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change. Because we did so much talking in our introduction, I'm going to make these ones three instead of five for this routine. For the others, we will go back to our five, okay? Three, four. So you can also go ahead and do five for each as well. Still, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But in the interest of time, let's do three in each set because we had quite some talk in our introduction. Child pose, stretch that out. Good job. We're going to get up to some sumo squats right now. All right, so here we go. Changing your view. We're going to get some water and do our sumo squat version for our next move. Get some water in first. All right, so we got that done. So now, here we go. Give you some lowered, a little more lowered view. All right, so we're not using any weights for this. So if, of course, you need to get your legs pointed out like so. Let me show you what's happening there so you can get that right. All right, so legs apart is fairly wide, pointing out. And what you're going to do, you're going to attempt to sit back. I want you to, when you're sitting back, to pout that butt, push it out like. Imagine there's a, there's a chair below you, but you're not sitting on it. You're sitting over it. So we're going to count to three. One, two, three. We're going to go up, we're going to squeeze, one, two, three, and then we're going to return. So that will be our routine. Make sure you have your legs in the right position. I'm going to change that view again. So here we go. Legs pointing out. We can roll our hands out. We can hold our hands um, in prior position, depending on what we prefer. I'm going to be holding out because it gives some tone into the arm as well. And it challenges the butt more when I'm, out, when I'm holding out than in this position for me. Let's go. Out. So we're sitting out, this is what I want you to do, pout the butt, like so. So sit out, like you're sitting on something, there's nothing there though. All right, so you're going to hold, one, two, three, go up and squeeze, one, two, three. Let go, release, down, one, two, three, up, keep your form when you're coming up, squeeze, one, two, three. Be careful with the squeeze, make sure the squeeze is in your back, in your butt rather, and not in your back. One, two, three, so you're sitting, legs are flat on the floor, I mean feet are flat on the floor. One, two, three, return. One, two, three, up, squeeze. One, two, three. All right, so we're going to turn around and show you what's happening in the front. Ready again? Squat in, sit in, right on, out. One, two, three, return with a squeeze, hold. One, two, three. When you're squeezing, you could put your arms above if you choose. Again, ready? One, two, three. Return. One, two, three. Down again. One, two, three. Squeeze. One, two, three. Down again. We're doing three for each. We're going around the body. Two, three. Squeeze. One, two two three we're done two directions we're going two more we're going around the body let's pull up and go into the next one ready so seat yourself seat one so you can go up you can go out one two three up and squeeze one two three return sit one two three up and squeeze one, two, three. You can put your hands on the hips if you like as well. Sit. One, two, three. Return. S squeeze. One, two, three. All right. One more. Sit. Hold. 
one, two, three, your turn. One, two, three. Make sure you're squeezing. One last position in for that now, and it's here. All right, so let's go again. Let's sit. One, two, three. Just watch your form because your form is very important. Return, squeeze. One, two, three. Sit. One, two, three. Return and squeeze. One, two, three. All right, we're complete with that set. Let's get some water in, then we're going back to the mat. So water is in, we're going back for some more flow work. This time we're gonna be doing the fire hydrant. So we're going back almost into our donkey squat position. Change your view. All right, that's what I need you to see right there. And then you'll see me next. Here we go. So we're going to now go down into fire hydrant position and we're gonna do our usual Bent donkey side kicks. Ready? So try and straighten this back as much as I can. I do have that issue. All right, let's raise that up a little bit more for you. Changing that view a little more. All right, so here we go. Ready? All right, so crouching with with um, wrist on the shoulders and back as flat as we can get it. Raise that leg. One and return. Aim is to go parallel to the floor as best as you can with that leg, okay? Four, five, six. We like to count for our timing in our exercise routine. Eight, nine, ten. Good job. Change legs. You want me to child pose there? Stretch that out. Let's go. Next. Two. So we're on the left leg now. Three. Left, four, five, hold it a little bit when you squeeze before you come back down, split second, eight, nine, ten, woo, and it's very different from the donkey sway in that it is working more of the upper part of your glutes and it is more intense as well, stretch that out. Let's go in for number two. We're just doing three for the interest of time. One in the set. Two, three, four, five, six. Hold a little bit when you go up. A split second. Seven. Woo. Eight. Woo. Nine. Woo. Ten. Good job. Child pose that out. Return. Let's go. One, two, three, woo, four, mm -hmm, five, woo, six, uh huh, seven, woo, eight, mm -hmm, nine, yeah, ten, uh huh, feeling every bit of that child pose that out. All right, so good heavens, we're stopping at three for this. Thank God for the long introduction that we had. So we have to cut that short. All right, so we're going to do our final one now, which is still on the floor. Let me change position a little bit after I get some water in. So let's get some water in. Get some water in. Stretch that out a little bit while you're at it. Stretch, good job. Oh, I hurt my shoulder in my sleep so oh i'm feeling it all right stretch uh, all right so we're ready now we're gonna do some plans so let's go back some more for you all right so give you that view all right and here we're gonna do going on our side right so you're gonna go down like so good then you're gonna get back up like so position align your body well all right, find a form and a balance on your side right there. All right, straighten that alignment as best as you can. And now we're gonna go opening and closing our leg. This is the clam, all right? This is working the hips a lot, widening the hips right there and working somewhat on your glutes as well. That's three, 
try to keep your core in line and in the front and the leg does the movement as much as possible three four five six seven eight nine ten all right let's change that we're going to change that around so let me switch position here we go so we're back down again ready position support bam one two three four so when you're doing this i prefer that when your thigh is going down you don't touch the thigh that is um on the ground you just hover over it as closely as possible and return to your calm parallel upward position four job so let's change again stretch that out a little bit oh good job let's change over flipping this body after a child pose stretch all right so we're doing three so we're going in for two now turn it over once more go back down all right nice movement for you two ready position get back up on here all right here we go one two three four got that wrong a little bit five six seven eight nine ten good job let's flip over flip over for number two on the right side so we're down on our left so we can work the right ready here we go let's get in position all right one two three four five six you're doing it good job seven you're doing it eight and i'm proud of you let's do one for grace all right so we're flipping over again you know we say flexible flipping and we've got one last in this set so this is number three first in the third in the in this in this number three let's go position again here we are position let's go one two three very simple clean and effective moves working our glutes and our hips five six seven eight nine ten one for grace all right i definitely double check to make sure i have this one right if there are any corrections i'll definitely give that to you when we come back so let's go again ready i think we have it right though position all right so you're on your arms there here we go pull your legs let's go one two while you're doing this it'll be nice if you can tighten your core right there and get some little abs being tightened at the same time being tightened five six seven eight nine Just try to keep the core in the front and one for grace excellent so we're done with that and actually we're going to stretch that out in the front Let's do a child pose, stress on it, stretch on it as well. Here we go, stretch it out. All right, and that actually marks the full workout routine for our week one lower body, butt and hip focus routine. We will be doing this for one whole month. Okay, so this was just our first in the set. Remember, in our next video, you're going to follow these warm-up activities that we did in this one for the rest of the week. All right, so go ahead now. Do your doubling of these moves and then do your cool-down activity to complete this exercise routine. I'm quite proud of you and thanks for joining us.
Here at Escape Forever Free, let us pray. Father, thank you for bringing us back together. Help us to continue to remain strong and to persevere despite difficulties. And if we fall down, give us the courage and the strength to get back up. Father, be with us and bless our bodies for every effort we make in these physical investments. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Walk good. But above all, please, walk with God. See you on day two.